is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for April 25th, 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Metallica have confirmed that Five Finger Death Punch will not be joining them on the M72 World Tour kickoff in Amsterdam on April 29th due to unforeseen circumstances, and that Nightwish singer Floor Jansen is going to perform in their absence. The tour, billed a no-repeat weekend, has Metallica performing twice in each location, playing entirely different sets each night, and accompanied by a different pair of openers across the pair of performances as well. The very first show of the run, which will extend into 2024, is set for April 27th in Amsterdam with special guests, Architects, and Mammoth WVH. Five Finger Death Punch and Ice Nine Kills were scheduled to play the second night. Metallica tweeting, thanks for joining us, Floor. Can't wait to see your set. You two have announced dates for their upcoming residency, which will take place in Las Vegas this fall. The first show is scheduled to be held on September 29th at the new MSG Sphere at the Venetian. Following performances include September 30th, October 5th and 7th, and October 8th. Tickets will be available via Ticketmaster's verified fan program. Paid U2.com subscribers can register now through tomorrow. Selected fans will receive pre-sale access codes on April 27th. The general on-sale is set to begin on April 28th. U2 previously revealed that the residency billed U2 UV Octung Baby Live at the Sphere will feature music from their 1991 album Octung Baby. Comedian Richard Lewis revealed that he has Parkinson's disease and plans to step away from stand-up comedy, but not from acting and writing. Saying, quote, I have Parkinson's disease, but I'm under doctor's care and everything is cool. I love my wife. I love my little puppy dog and I love all my friends and my fans. Lewis explained in a video to fans why he hasn't been touring and the, quote, rocky time that has just been the last several years. Saying that, quote, the shit hit the fan. I had four surgeries back to back to back to back. It was just bad luck, but it's life. Alter Bridge have announced a new leg of their Ponds and Kings tour that's set to feature Seven Dust and Mammoth WVH. The new tour kicks off on August 1st in Buffalo, New York, and wraps up at the end of the month in Iowa. That includes a stop in New England on August 12th in Mashantucket, Connecticut at the Premier Theater at Foxwoods. Rock and metal drummer Mike Portnoy recently said that he's going to stop using his official Twitter account after it lost its blue checkmark verification that previously assured Twitter followers it was really him. Saying, quote, as somebody who was dealt firsthand with online imposters, blue check verification is something that I always found to be pretty important to have on social media. With Twitter now stripping everybody of them and enabling anybody to simply buy one and pretend to be anybody with no verification, I think it's time to bounce from here to avoid any possible confusion or mistaken identity. He continued that he'd still be using his Instagram and Facebook with daily posts and content, so please follow me over there where you can be certain it's actually me posting. Aerosmith is teasing fans with a mystery countdown clock on their website. The clock counts down to Monday, May 1st at 7 a.m. Pacific. It's widely speculated that the group will reveal details of an upcoming tour with an appearance on the Howard Stern Show on Sirius XM. Guitarist Joe Perry told the Boston Globe last week that the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers are preparing a 40-date U.S. tour that's expected to launch in September and run into 2024. Those plans were sidelined by the pandemic and frontman Steven Tyler's relapse last year that sent him to rehab. The band's Aerosmith, Deuces Are Wild, Las Vegas residency was also affected with the remaining few shows ultimately canceled in December due to an undisclosed issue with Tyler. Early in 2022, Joey Kramer announced his leave of absence to focus on his family. Three months later, his wife Linda had passed away, although no official cause of death has been revealed. In a recent interview, Joe Perry said the upcoming track will unlikely feature the return of Kramer, who's had several medical setbacks of his own. Drum tech John Douglas is expected to continue to man the throne in the wake of his absence.
Lead vocalist Ronnie Radke has canceled two Falling in Reverse shows in Florida over the weekend, citing issues with his voice, but he maintained in video updates that he wasn't sick. In his updates, Radke apologized to fans and promised to make up the Falling in Reverse shows at some point in the future. Falling in Reverse's current tour is set to resume tonight in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, with an appearance at the big gig in Worcester, Massachusetts, coming up this Saturday with Breaking Benjamin, The Pretty Reckless, Beartooth, and Dorothy. Bam Margera is wanted by police after the embattled Jackass star reportedly threatened his brother, CKY's Jess Margera, and then fled into the woods near his Pennsylvania home, according to TMZ. Bam allegedly knocking on Jesse's bedroom door in the home at approximately 8 a.m. on Sunday before apparently leaving behind a signed letter that told Jesse, if you even fucking think of calling the police on me, I will officially fuck you up. From there, Jesse reportedly went downstairs to find Bam allegedly peeing in a sink and a fight apparently broke out between the two brothers. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 150 featuring Lance Daddle from From Ashes to New is available now. A good time starts with a great wardrobe. Next stop, JCPenney. Family get-togethers to fancy occasions, wedding season two. We do it all in style. Dresses, suiting, and plenty of color to play with. Get fixed up with brands like Liz Claiborne, Worthington, Stafford, and Jay Farrar. Oh, and thereabouts for kids. Super cute and extra affordable. Check out the latest in-store. And we're never short on options at jcp.com. All dressed up, everywhere to go. JCPenney.